Hey, it girls, welcome back to the Spill podcast, where we spill on all the tea on living your dream life and embracing the glamorous journey. Okay, so let's get right into our Monday motivation, which this week is a little pep talk that I have for you guys about you will slay this school year. It's not just a statement, it's literally you telling yourself, I will slay this school year. It's not just me telling you that, you're going to repeat that to yourself and it's going to be reprogramming your subconscious mind to actually slay the school year. When you tell yourself you're going to slay the school year, that means you're going to be motivated now to be able to do the things you need to do in order to slay the school year. When you just say a statement, it's not going to become real unless you put in the effort, put in the work. If you're going to say that you want to slay the school year, what do you need to be doing? You need to be studying, you need to be paying attention in class, taking notes, making sure that you're reading all the material, doing everything you need to do in order to slay the school year. As you step into the second semester, it's very important to remember that you can overcome the toughness of these classes. For me, I'm just like, I'm super kind of like mad and like, I get kind of upset and just impatient when it comes to like algebra. Algebra for me is one of my least favorite subjects. I literally despise algebra, but I don't let algebra ruin my learning experience. Algebra is okay. It's all right. You know, I can learn more and more every single day on it. It's not the end of the world just because I have an algebra test today. It's easier to do an algebra test than write a whole English essay because for me, I'm doing AP English, advanced placements. So they expect me to write a college level essay and I'm in the 11th grade. So it's easier for me to just do the 10 question algebra test. And so just honestly, just remember that you can do this. You know, like nothing is too hard for you. If it feels too hard, that's just because you haven't learned it yet. So what you need to do is go through and actually learn the things go back and actually teach it to yourself go and ask your teacher to show you how to do it again I'm sure that they won't mind trying to show you and it's just very important just to remember that these challenges they're not roadblocks they're not things that are going to stop you from achieving your goals they're just stepping stones they're just helping you to become a better person just become a better student in general so I just want you to remember that when things get tough in school it's only temporary because if you do the best that you can right now and pass this semester you won't ever have to come back to this semester once you're done you're done So please, please, please just remember that you got this and you will slay the entire school year. Now let's get into our new segment. If you looked on Spotify on my last episode, I did say I was going to have a new segment coming on the podcast. I'm literally so excited to share it with y'all. It's a little segment that I have with my dad and he is very, very wise person. He has like all the info. He knows everything. And this little segment is going to be called things that you can't Google. Literally, this is all the things, literally the, the name says it, things you can't Google. He talks about so, so much stuff. So every week I'm going to ask him a little question. He's going to give me like a little five minute answer maybe like a seven minute answer depending on the topic and I really hope this could help y'all just become the best version of yourself in 2024 and just becoming one percent better every single day so let's get right into the first episode of this little like little segment that I have going on it's like a little opening type of part and I really hope it could really motivate you inspire you and just get you into that right headspace for the week first thing I like to introduce myself in this segment the name of this segment is Things you can't Google. Gym workout for the mind. So we all know what the gym does for the body. It makes it stronger and better. So that's what we want to do for our mind. I always believe knowledge is power, but it must be executed. You can have the best kitchen with all the modern updates, all the best appliances. You went to culinary school for four years, have all the books and have all the knowledge to be a head chef. But you starve to death because you don't feel like cooking. We definitely don't want to be that. So in this first episode, I would like to call it five steps for a better you. Follow me. I'm going places. Number one, get serious. Well, when I say get serious, you don't have to be stone cold grim, but you must be serious. I got an example of a guy I used to know. He has a truck full of jokes that's keeping him from high income and being successful. He's not known for being intelligent and giving value. He's only known as a joker. But if that's the way he want to live his life, hey, do your thing. But I know you guys don't. So it's not really the best way to live. You know, and you want to be way above average. You must be serious. I'm going to give you an example. Number one, setting your goals. You got to set goals. Setting goals means that you're knowing where you want to go, becoming an architect of your own two, four, six years of your life. 
So you want to build your own life, not have anybody else do it. Number two, another thing is that you got to get serious about personal development. When I say personal development in the future, it means scribing hard to be a person you want to be. So I'm going to make this quick. And I'm going to give you guys something to think about. I'm going to leave you with this. A few years from now, you will definitely become someone. The question is, who? See you next time. Now let's get on to our fashion icon of the week, which is Kate Turner. If you don't know Kate Turner, she's like big on TikTok, Instagram, Pinterest, literally every social media platform. She is literally the the whole like definition of Lana Del Rey. She she literally looks like a Lana Del Rey song, y'all. Like she looks like she stepped right out of the Honeymoon album or like Born to Die album. Like I'm just literally like obsessed with her style. And so she even inspired me to get um these Lana Del Rey stickers because I really wanted to decorate like a cute little gratitude journal. I need to buy the gratitude journal from Walmart because like I want like a little baby pink one and I need to um like decorated and stuff because I ordered the stickers already and I got those from Etsy if you guys want to know just let me know and I will like tell y'all the shop name is all like on the Etsy app though I'm not on the Etsy app right now but literally like it is the cutest thing ever and like so I had to recreate her journal but like in my own type of way like my little Vivian like my little Vivian way so I had to make sure to do that but she has all the coquette vibes literally Kate Turner go follow her she is so pretty and like her whole style is just literally everything so absolutely obsessed with that now is the quote of the week so the quote of the week is actually a little saying actually it's not like a whole launch just like a one sentence quote it's like an actual in-depth thing which i think you guys will really like especially if you're like writing some of the stuff down you would really like this so please 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 don't worry about being the most interesting person in the room this is a, this is a psychology trick y'all like literally remember this don't worry about being the most interesting person in the room just try to be the most interested person in the room the interested person asks about other people's day they ask about their lives they ask what do you do in school what's your favorite subject in school they leave a good impression because people like talking about themselves remember that people love to talk about themselves the more that you actually ask them questions about themselves the more they're gonna like you especially if it's like to your advantage like if you're trying to get into a good college and the person like the admission team you're just talking to them and stuff they are wanting to talk to you especially if you're like giving them like a good reason to you know like you're not trying to like fill in the conversation you're actually making a good impression ask them like how was your day how are you doing right now you know the interested person is genuinely curious about someone's craft aka their school subject their student life the what they do at work and they learn more and more about how things work they're naturally a learner they want to know it's not just they're asking just to be able to be like well i can get something out of this person no they're asking because they are genuinely curious about things also, an interested person engages with more people because more opportunities come through people and it's more likely to catch a break. So let me explain this one. So what I mean by this is that when you are hanging out with multiple people, you can learn things from multiple people rather than just trying to hang out with the one person every single day. Because the more people you hang out with, the more you're surrounding yourself with, the more personalities that you're looking on to, the more things you can learn from each of these persons. So it's very important just to remember that the interested person learns more and tends to be well-liked because they make other people feel at home. They make other people feel cared for. So in the long run, it's good to keep, it's good to make sure that you are not just being the interesting person, but being the most interested person. I got that from Jane Clear's newsletter, by the way. Also, my weekly recap. So I'm totally in my Lana Del Rey era, like literally obsessing over Honeymoon. I've been listening to it so much lately. Salvatore. How come? I'm so mad at y'all. How come y'all didn't put me on that song earlier? Like I listened to it before, but I never listened to it on repeat. And I was like, oh my God, this is so good. Also, I tried Natalie's matcha drink and y'all like literally obsessed with it. It's delicious. Like, oh my God, it's a iced matcha latte with oat milk and sweet cream cold foam obsessed it's so good like literally you need to try it okay it's so good and natalie's at is at you're my religion on pinterest and i actually actually did a collab youtube video with natalie we swapped morning routines and that was like the funnest thing ever to do with her like literally she's like the sweetest girl and she is so fun to like do things with so we did a little video collab which was the best thing ever also i've been just planning out my life for this year like this is still january i'm still planning out the things i need to do because this year is a big year for me um this is my senior year of high school i need to plan out my senior photos i'm taking those in the summertime my graduation party my university plans a lot of things are just coming down i need to not coming down in a bad way but they're coming to 
to me. I need to make sure I get these things planned out so I won't be so stressed out like by the end of 2024 because honestly, I need to do my senior year photos. I need to plan out my graduation party. I need to plan out my university admissions because I need to make sure that I am sending in my applications by um, fall 2024 because that is when you are supposed to like you know you're supposed to send in applications just in case you don't get in once you can have time to send it in again so that's just what I've been up to this week just like planning out my life planning out my things I've been back in school so I've been planning out like how I'm going to be getting through this school semester. So that's what I've been up to. Also, my feature listener is actually the sweetest girl ever. It's Her name is Emma. And I can't remember her at, but she is really the sweetest person ever. Like, you guys, she's like, she makes you want to, like, smile from ear to ear. So, like, I was talking to her on Pinterest, and she told me, um, you're literally the sweetest girl blogger and definitely one of the most iconic accounts. And the way you have a business and a podcast, like, OMG. I love your podcast, by the way. I was like, oh, my gosh. Like, you, she's making my heart explode with... With, like love like I'm just so happy when I read that like every time I read that it makes me just smile so hard like you can hear the smiling in my voice right now and I'm just so happy honestly like she makes me she made me so happy saying that because I was like that was genuinely so sweet I was like thank you so much so, please be sure to follow her I will leave her um Pinterest account at in the show notes down below so she can get some more followers because we're all building the community you know like we are all she's big already in the girl bar community but we all want to like build the community we all want to be friends with each other because we're all like super cool iconic girl bloggers so also our journal prompt of the week which is who are you trying to become this year which actions will reinforce that identity make sure to journal that question to be able to plan out your 2024 lastly is our psychology fact of the week so one interesting psychology fact that i have you guys is about studying because this very much correlates with the topic of the episode so studying is related to the spacing effect in your brain so spacing effect is actually a psychological thing that is kind of like you're remembering information more effectively when you study it multiple multiple times and not just cram it all in a one day thing so in other words spacing out is basically when you're studying and you are revisiting the material over time so like if you are taking the a test in June like me a SAT test then you would make sure to be able to start studying now so you're not studying May 1st because that's just one month you need more than a month that is like doing the counteract version of the spacing out effect so what you need to do is make sure that remember that your brain benefits from repeated exposure to information so if you are trying to do different intervals of study sessions and just trying to like study like for a couple minutes every day or a couple hours every day you are on the right track but if you are studying like an intense single study session for one day trying to cram it all into that one day that is not going to be good for you so please make sure that your brain loves 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 when you are spacing out and i'm not spacing out like in a daydreaming way but spacing out in the brain way when you are actually into the study session and you're studying for little increments every single day rather than cramming it all into one thing so if you want to maximize your learning and just your retention when it comes to your memory and brain consider spacing out your study sessions so you can be able to not just like do everything in one day or one week or one month you can actually space it out to a couple months in advance so make sure to keep that in mind now let's get right into the episode First off, for this episode, we need to talk about how to set clear goals. You need to make sure that you are setting clear goals when it comes to this because you need to have that girl boss mindset. Channel your inner girl boss by setting your clear and achievable goals for the semester. What achievements do you want to go for? What grade do you want to miss? What personal growth milestones do you want to have in a class that you may be kind of weak in? What do you want to do in this class to make it different than the last semester? Write down exactly like in your journal, your notebook, wherever you write in or your notion. Just type or write, what do I want to be different? in this semester than last semester and I want you to write down every single thing for every single class like math history science English write down what grade I want to finish in and how can I achieve that grade maybe you have big final exams coming up how to make like a study schedule you know like write a how to study efficiently little thing for yourself and just like write down your study schedule your new study schedule when you're going to study how long you're going to study where you're going to study have everything all the answers right there because when it comes time to study you may try to procrastinate your way out of it but you can't do that if you have all the answers to all of your questions like where am I going to study what am I going to use to study what subject am I going to study right now write down everything and plan it into your daily routine so it can be just like a natural thing for you You can just come naturally just comes like a normal thing like the way your alarm goes off every morning you know when to study every single day so just make sure that you have those goals that little girl boss mindset and your goals next is the Elle Woods touch so like Elle Woods from Legally Blonde embrace a positive attitude and believe in yourself and believe in the fact that you can 
can ace this test with whatever grade you want to get and you can do it you know so as Elle's famous word says what like it's hard make sure that you can be that way make that your whole like little intention for the semester because honestly like we all have those moments where we just kind of feel like oh we just can't do it that's just not possible I just want to pass this class honestly if that is how you want to look at school be my guest go right ahead but for me we are all overachievers here and we want to make sure that we are trying our very best and we are knowing that we we deserve and we can achieve all these like high goals we have for ourselves because we know how we're going to do it we have all of our steps on how to do it in this previous step we talked about setting the clear goals writing how you're going to do it and we can do that you know what you need to have is belief in yourself self-belief know that you can do things say those affirmations every morning it will reprogram your subconscious mind to believe in yourself believe in who you are and in your abilities if you study for like seven days straight and you're shutting for like an hour a day and you when your test comes around you have no reason to not know anything on the test maybe your anxiety will kick in but that is okay you know all the information that will be on the test just remember that you can do it because you you study like for an hour a day you study for two hours a day three hours a day it does not matter how long you study as long as you know the material like the back of your hand you will do amazing on it have that self-belief in yourself that you can do things even hard things next is to organize your life so share from clueless she had a little color-coded calendar which was so cute so I want you to do like a little share Horwitz playbook and just like organize your own schedule with color coded calendars. So if you have like a planner for the year or if you use Notion, just color code your things. Stay on top of your assignments, exams, and just like your little parties or social events you may go to. Just like make it really cute because when you make things cute and make it, it can make it more like want to do it and more like achievable because you're like oh my god this is so cute I don't want to put this to waste so if you have like a journal or if you have like your planner that you print out your things into I want you to write down each subject and just like color code it so like if you have um for English like a pink pen and just pink highlighters and then for math you can do like blue highlighters blue pens and just do different stuff like that just to color code it and just makes it more visually appealing and just more like aesthetically appealing you may still want to take pictures post it on Pinterest just makes it so cute you know so just try to make things cute and color code your things because honestly it helps helpful organization to plan out your life and also it can make it really cute and really fun to do also girl boss efficiency this is very important as well because you need to make sure that you're prioritizing your tasks and manage your time like a girl boss because i want you to remember that if you plan if you don't plan you're planning to fail and so make sure that you are planning out writing down every single day what tasks do i need to do today do i need to finish this project that's due in two days so i can have it in and maybe i'll have more time to work on my math project because i just finished the history one make sure that you're writing down each task you're going to do every single day to stay organized and just stay efficient in your your tasks and your work because honestly if things get out of hand if you don't know what you're supposed to be doing today whatever was supposed to be due yesterday you won't even know it was due yesterday because you never planned planned out your day so make sure that you're planning out each task you're going to do set aside a dedicated study time plan your breaks for self-care always plan breaks in because that is one of the most important things you need to do and ensure that a healthy work-life balance is there because honestly when you are working on school all the time you're not having a self-care time you're not having breaks you're just work 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 that is not going to be good in the long run you're not going to do good on the test if you don't have breaks you know you're not going to do good on the test if you don't have a good night's sleep at least eight hours so make sure that you are having a really good healthy school slash work life balance make sure that you're stopping studying you're stopping all school at a certain time and just spending the rest of the night for yourself number three is to elevate your style so Cher's fashion foreignness was so so cute I literally love her whole style just look it up on Pinterest watch the movie do whatever you need to do just to get the style because honestly just dressing up and just dressing the part for like your little studious girl era can just make it much more fun than just going in like a sweatshirt and a like sweatpants or something could just make it a lot more fun and just so much more cute so make sure to have your wardrobe with just like really cute things that scream you it could just be bold colors it could be a classy style it could be like the espresso girl style it could be preppy it could be like the cozy minimalistic style it could be clean girl aesthetic y2k it could be share from clueless aesthetic it can be anything just make sure whatever you're wearing every single day you wake up early enough to wear what you want and also make sure that it screams you it's not screaming your friend it's not screaming someone else it's screaming you and what you like and what you want to be and show up in every single day next is girl boss power outfits so i want you to invest in power outfits that make you feel really confident and what i mean by that hold on let me get some water chug some water with me three two one okay so girl boss power outfits so what this is is that 
if you put on an outfit like that you just got out and it's kind of like it doesn't really turn out the way that you wanted it to and it's kind of like oh now I only have 10 minutes to find an outfit it's not even going to be as cute as the first outfit I had in mind but that outfit didn't look good on me have a girl boss power outfit and what that is is a backup outfit at all times that you automatically feel confident in. you always feel confident and it does not matter if it's like a new outfit an old outfit something that you've worn like five times before as long as you feel confident in it it's perfect so what this is just like a backup outfit that you always have prepared that you feel confident in you can always just switch into it if you don't feel confident in the clothes you have on just put on your girl boss outfit and you can automatically feel amazing I remember I was watching we're listening to this podcast not your typical with Caitlin and she was talking about how she has her set active sets that she wears and she was going on vacation and she had this really cute dress she wanted to wear she wore it at the vacation and she was just like I just I don't feel confident in this so she brought the set active sets and she put it on and she feels confident in that so it's not like she's just like wasting a good Good outfit she still has that girl boss power outfit to look powerful and feel confident in it so whether that outfit didn't turn out good or not she still has that if she wants to get that little boost of motivation that boost of confidence so just make sure you have one for yourself it could be a well-tailored blazer it could be a chic dress it can be just like anything that just is a reflection of your own self and your own confidence that you have Number four is networking excellence. So make sure that you are like up to date on all the social things like with your friends and stuff. And she always had like little parties and just like different things with her classmates, um, with her professors. Like I'm talking about Elle Woods, by the way, like with her professors and just anything in her field. She always knew everything that was going on. And it's really good to stay up to date on things that's going on in your school because then you can be able to get more involved and engaged into your school. It can be like less boring, you know, but also one of the most important things is just to remember that it's okay if you don't get invited to anything or if you don't get invited to everything because honestly you can start planning your own thing with your own friends because you don't need other people to make things for you to be invited to you can just start planning your own things you can host your own party host your own dinner party with your best friend and maybe you don't want more than like five people there that is okay it's your party your rules Next is girl boss connections. So I want you to strengthen your network with different like-minded individuals. I like to just be friends with people who make me feel like a happy person, who make me feel uplifted, who make me feel like a better person. I don't like to be friends with people who are like insecure all the time. They're always being negative about every situation. They're always just feeling so sad all the time. And like while I do respect other people's opinions, I also have to be respected on who I choose as friends. And I'm not going to choose someone who's always like just like down and negative all the time because then she's going to be like that towards me and that negativity she has is going to start to rub off on me and I'm a very positive and like uplifting person so I like to just make sure that I network with like-minded individuals who are somewhat like me and just surrounding yourself with people who inspire you who uplift you just creating a supportive community that aligns with your goals people who are also aligned with your life at that time number five is to maintain a positive mindset so Elle Wood's positivity was literally one of the most important and one of the most inspiring things in the whole movie so her positive and optimistic outlook on school life anything in general was just so amazing even when she was in like a tough situation or just a challenging moment she just reminded herself of like what she's capable of and just focused on the solutions rather than the problems she focused on what she can do differently what she can do to achieve this goal it was never like a i can never get into harvard just remind yourself that you are going to be positive about this you're not going to be negative about this it may be a challenging subject in school but you can always be positive and find the positivity in these different things also girl boss resilience this is very important too because when you develop resilience by viewing setbacks as opportunities for growth it can be very important so like if you do better on the test it is what it is let me just try to do better than i did before on this test remember that a girl boss always bounces back stronger and more determined to succeed next is stay active and healthy so Cher had a very nice and aesthetically pleasing wellness routine just make sure that you're prioritizing your well-being with a wellness routine inspired by Cher or just like your own wellness routine routine whether it could be yoga jogging hitting the gym staying active it could be going on a hike or a walk it could be doing pilates in the house it could be just doing a quick like little yoga thing before like you go to school or something i know a lot of people who go in person school don't really have a lot of time in the morning so i'm homeschooled so i have a lot of time in the morning to make my own routine but if you don't have a lot of time just go for like a quick five minute walk you can take a shower and then come back and get ready for school it can be really anything that just gets your body moving your body going and it, honestly just like staying active can just really help you both physically 
physically and mentally with your health. Next is girl boss self-care. I want you to make sure you're incorporating self-care into your routine. Every single Wednesday, I always have a everything shower. So that means using my body scrub, my body butter, my body spray. I'm going to do all the things in the shower. So I just like to make sure I have one day every single week. I'm just going to do all those different things just to get me in that little self-care mindset and just make sure that I'm getting my self-care into my routine. And just girl bosses always understand the importance of taking care of themselves and just maintaining peak performance because honestly if you don't have a self-care day if you don't have a self-care mindset all the time like um when you need it honestly it will just help you like in the wrong way like it'll just feel burnt out all the time like you never take time for yourself just making sure that you are practicing self-care can just really make you feel great next is intellectual curiosity so make sure that you are actually wanting to learn a lot of the time I know it can be kind of like weird to say that but honestly having that love for learning like Elle Woods was just so so amazing her passion for education always was just so inspiring just make sure that you're going to approach your classes with curiosity ask questions when you need to write down all of your questions and ask as a teacher at the end of the class, engage in the discussions, and just seek to expand your knowledge beyond the required curriculum. It can be you're working on molecules in biology, but what if you want to know something you're going to learn next year in chemistry? Ask your teacher. You don't have to be afraid to expand your knowledge. You don't have to be afraid to be smart because being smart is cool. And honestly, just like going beyond the re- required curriculum could just be honestly like make you feel kind of like a girl boss already. You feel like a overachiever. So just make sure you're always asking questions, engaging in the discussions, and just doing what you need to do to make sure that you are loving to learn also she always loved to read so you can learn a lot when you're reading so you can read different self-improvement books you can read books about like different things that happened in the past it can just always help you to learn more and more every single day girl boss intellect is very important as well just cultivating a little girl boss intellect little mindset by staying informed about current events industry trends and just topics related to your field of study so for me with psychology I always want to know like who was the important psychologist in the past that shaped the way for psychologists now I want to know like different things the different studies experiments that were done in the past to let us know different things about our brains now. I love to just make sure that I know my industry like the back of my hand. I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm learning about. And I can have it in my like pocket almost so I can just tell anybody and just like spread the knowledge to the world. Number eight is personal branding. So Cher always had a signature style which was so, so cute all the time. She always had style that set her apart. Whether it's a unique way of presenting yourself and just like walking with like a little model walk. Maybe it's like a little hair float every time you go into a room. Maybe it's like a really cute like big tote bag. Whatever it is, let your personal brand and shine make sure that you have confidence as well because confidence is the key element to personal branding just believing in yourself your abilities and just showcasing the qualities that make you a true girl boss is very very important as well but make sure you have signature style signature scent signature earrings necklace anything so when people see something similar to it they're like oh my god that is her signature piece and it reminds them of you number nine is to elevate your workspace so Cher always had like the luxury vibes going on in her study environment and she had like really cute like stylish desk accessories come to seating like the little cute like a little fur desk yeah fur pins just like really cute little space that'll motivate you and make you want to study make sure your desk is clean and make sure you have like an area whenever you're going to study make sure you have an area that has like no sound going on unless you play music and just make sure it's like a nice little area that makes you want to study. Also, girl boss productivity. I want you to optimize your workspace for productivity and remove any distractions. Organize your materials, your pens, your highlighters, your pencils. And just make your study area a place where you can focus and thrive in that moment. Number 10 is give back. So Elle always had that type of spirit where she wanted to give back to others. So follow her example of giving back. You can volunteer for causes that you're passionate about. Participate in community service in school. You can join the beta club. You can contribute just to making a positive impact in your school or in just the world in general and also your girl boss empowerment is very important as well you need to make sure that you're empowering others by sharing your knowledge and just supporting your friends your family people in your class your teachers make sure you're just being supportive and a girl boss always uplifts those around her just creating a, a nice little positive environment it's very important just to make sure to be positive and have those good vibes and just know that you can believe in yourself within anything that you go through in life that is the end of the episode i really hope you guys enjoyed it please let me know what episodes you want to hear in the future in 2024 i really hope this episode could inspire you to just come back better than ever in the second semester hope you to um approach the semester just being a confident girl boss and just doing everything that you need to do so i want you to know that you've got this and i'm here for you all along the way and i will see y'all next week bye